This is a huge, huge episode for Asahi. High Q, episode 17. I feel like we're gonna find out today. Yeah, I think I kind of slept on how impactful this was in this episode. He kind of created the emotional space for all of them to get over their jitters. Iron Wall of Date. It's even in their name. They know their brand. They know who they are and they went all in on it. I totally get the feeling too, like for Asahi. He was the ace, right? He was kind of rolling rolling high. I think if you're on a roll and you are experiencing a certain degree of success, it's tricky because in anything that involves some kind of competition or just in general involves other people or a dynamic system for success, your input is only gonna be a certain part of it, a certain fraction of it. And it's impossible to determine just how much that is at first. You know, like let's say you're, you're working at an endeavor and you're just crushing it, right? How much of that is you and you know, your ability, your natural ability? How how much of it is timing? How much of it is other people just favoring you? Random luck? You know, you don't know. What you want to believe is that it's you. You know, you want to believe it's your ability. And you want to believe that you can master anything and overcome anything. But this is a competitive space. I think most of the arenas that, that feel great in the way their victory feels great is going to be from a competitive space. And so an adverse event, you know, where you're actually using your full, full tools, but success is gone. Suddenly you're losing. There's a real crisis of self that can occur because it's like, well, maybe I'm just totally powerless. Maybe it wasn't me at all. Maybe there's nothing that I can do. And I think that, you know, sometimes it, it takes a series of adverse events for that to sink in or to become kind of like a trained thought or, or trained pattern to recognize. But sometimes it just takes like one crushing defeat. There's some good news in there too, though, which is that it works the other way as well. You know, like failure might also be largely a result of circumstance. So really the solution in all cases is just to improve yourself and keep going as best as you can. Sort of take a, a optimistic view where no one point of failure is a determiner of what you are and what your potential is. It just could be that moment. But also it just means there's something to learn. It just means there's there's a path of growth. I mean, obviously for Asahi, this is a defining moment for him. You know, like I've said a few times now recently, really it's, it's not about volleyball. I mean, it is about volleyball, but it's not. It's about them. So his ability to take that event and still show up at the court, even if he, you know, ran away for a little bit, is huge for him and will be more significant, more important in the long run than any loss. And this episode is so huge because in, in a sense, it's his chance to kind of get past it. It just took a little help from his friends, a little bit of support from his teammates, namely Nishinoya. Episode 17, The Iron Wall. <laughs> The more I watch the show, the more I'm impressed by the attention to detail in their facial expressions. Their personalities just come through. Blasting them with iron. Iron walls. It seems like Nishinoya is going to be key in this as well. In that case, both in terms of his gameplay and in terms of his emotional support for his friend. Yeah, they really feel like they know who they are and they're confident in their strategy. Here we go. Oh, that guy's just lurking. He's just waiting. Oh, damn, he's quick. Quick for a big guy. There's that wall. Oh, oh they still got it, though. Unfazed. Totally unfazed. Personality of iron. Iron Wall. The patient. He's committed. How would you deal with that? I'm legit terrified for them. That was only the first point. They're gonna adjust. Oh, I'm so nervous for him. Oh no! Shake it off! Good. I hope it's legit. I hope it's how he really feels. Only two points have been scored, but man, a lot has happened. Oh no. Oh no. They're getting into a rhythm. Okay, that was sort of lucky though. You can't rely on that. Come on, Asahi. Oh no. The, oh no. It hurts so bad. Why does it hurt? But it wouldn't be satisfying if you didn't experience some kind of adversity. Oh, we got the point too? But he's still feeling it though. He still feel, feels the wall. But it's like not a satisfying two-point lead. Yeah, yeah, just you can feel the feel the resistance. You feel the wall. Iron wall. Exactly, exactly. 
Donated it right into their hands. Damn, how did you read that? Yeah, they're super patient. They really know their game. High, fast, expansive, and patient wall. It's terrifying because they're so primed to go down this vicious cycle because they're kind of expecting to have trouble. As soon as the trouble starts, they're going to make it bigger than it is. If they're expecting the ball to ricochet right back in their faces every time, they're going to just be like a half step too late, too slow, too weak. Date obviously is a great team. They've been built up that way, but they're human. They can bleed. Karasuno needs to see blood from them as soon as possible. At least Hinata's easily encouraged. I mean, I'm no volleyball expert, but just given the, the skills we've learned in the show so far, there's a technique for this now. You just don't, like, slam it right in their faces. What was it called again? You can, like, tip it over them? Right. I mean, it's a very, very elaborate and more complicated version of rock, paper, scissors. There's an answer to everything. That gets us where the mental game comes in. Oh, damn. There we go. There's the blood I've been looking for. We've seen them bleed. They are mortal. And then when they adjust to this, you can go to Tanaka or someone else. Asahi. You don't know. Now you know. I like how Hanada's getting a name for himself now. He's becoming a giant. <laughs> Alright, sure. Whatever you say. He's the only one. Oh, he's the only one so far. That's not totally in line with the team spirit. I'm sure that'll be a point of growth at some point. Oh, not like that. Not like that, Hinata. It happens, it happens. The fact that they're off makes me nervous for some reason. You know what he's talking about. He talks a lot of crap, but he scores points. Yeah, but they're learning. They're still learning. They're paying attention. Like the last Raptors throwing themselves against the fence. But we're skipping ahead a little bit. Ooh, they promised and they delivered. One for one. He's on the radar. They're figuring it out. They've found the weakness in the fence. It's so bizarre, it's so... Not sad, but a little bit sad, a little weird. Kagam is so famous for his teammate debacle. No, so he found someone who can keep up, finally. He found his match, the other half. It's just really, it's too close for comfort. I wonder if they wouldn't jump the gun on Hinata now, since they're expecting it. That counts on a serve? Nah, I believe in Kagama. Oh, damn. Found his match, like I said. Yeah, it really feels like this is the legend of Hinata growing. Not as star is rising. And Kagama, of course. But if Karasuna is smart or playing playing the right game of chess now is the time to pass it off to not hinata while they're following him around this might be the seat of their undoing it's always about girls it always comes back to dating hey look at little hinata a giant on the court do you feel it Exactly, exactly. The more play opens up. There we go, we got a little bit of a... A little more of a cheering squad. Even Mark and Hinata, they can't stop him. But this is gonna end with Asahi doing something. We need Asahi to grow. Oh, he just got played. They're on edge, yeah, they're jumpy. Literally. I'll say. Nice, you believe. He was always a believer. Speaking of believing, you can win. My prediction, they're going to catch up to Hinata a little bit, paving the way for an Asahi moment. They got to paint every team in a sympathetic light. Can I just hate one of them at least? 
<laughs> He's jacked up. He's feeling it. He's got real singular focus and vision. That's changed really quickly. It's so hard to stay calm in a moment like this. It's elimination. Oh, I, oh, I saved it. Nice. Fake, fake, fake. Fake. There he is! What does it look like beyond the iron wall? Not to set him up. Real nice. Legend has it he's still rising up into the air to this day. He's orbiting the planet. <laughs> yeah, well, if his spirit can be broken in one serve or a few serves, it can be restored in the same amount. And we got girls cheering for us. Everything is coming up, Karasuno. This hand, with the power in my own hand. I can overcome my own emotional obstacles. Still feels pretty good. Yeah, not only getting positive reinforcement from this role of supporting. Yeah, you know what feels the best out of everything? Winning. I don't know, speaking of momentum, I think it just got decided right there. I think it's been decided. Even if we don't have the outcome for a couple more episodes. That felt like it, or at least just a huge turning point. I can imagine some supporting roles not being as satisfying as others, but I feel like for Hinata being the decoy it is satisfying and is what he wants because it's predicated on him being a great spiker. I mean, this happened because he was just crushing it, literally. It seems like a lot of the team's offense and this game in particular relies on his ability or his co-ability with Kagayama to be just unbelievable scorers. It's still early and anything can happen. It's a multi-episode game, so Date Tech is not out and you know, we've seen from the show that players evolve and they have their own character dramas and <laughs> the, the opposing team always has a sympathetic look as much as I sometimes wish they wouldn't so I could enjoy them getting crushed. So there's still drama to be had in this game, obviously. There's still mileage. But so far, just from what I've seen, just from this first, like, I don't know, first half, one of my favorite games so far, just because of the emotional stakes, you want to see Asahi succeed. And also you see Hinata gaining this status that he's, he's wanted, almost despite himself. You know, he at this point, he's not thinking about that at all. He's just playing a great game, but his dreams are coming true on the sidelines without him even realizing it yet. Kageyama also is kind of righting the wrongs of his past, even though I still maintain that it wasn't as bad as people were saying, and not a kind of proving that he just needed a good a good pair, good match. And then just collectively as a whole, this feels like their biggest challenge, not just in terms of the enemy's skill, but their own mental management. You know, they came into this game knowing the reputation of Date Tech, who's just really great at branding, giving this image of literally being an iron wall that's unstoppable, but like maintaining, never giving in to their fears, not letting the difficulty get in the way of their emotional momentum whatsoever, and just showing up and having a singular vision as a team. It's really fun.